Let's discuss injector replacement on this 3.5 liter Honda Odyssey. Now we've already gone ahead and removed the upper intake manifold here. And so uh, it's a couple bolts, a couple nuts taking out these studs, a couple vacuum lines, and a couple coolant lines, and you can set this out of the way to access the fuel rail here. Now we can disconnect the injectors electronically by pinching the connector and sliding them out of the way. So we're going to want to do that for all six injectors. Now the fuel rail is held down by four bolts. And so I'm going to take a quarter inch ratchet, a six inch extension, and an eight millimeter swivel socket in order to get on these bolts. They're underneath the rail here and come out pretty easily. Once we've got all four bolts taken out of here, now it's best to, to gently grab each injector and spin it just to loosen itself up from any debris that may be holding it to the intake manifold. Once you have all six injectors spinning freely, then it'll be time to lift the entire rail off as a whole. Gently pulling on the injectors and working them back and forth is the best method to remove the whole rail as an entire assembly and swing it up out of the way here. Now that we've got it out of our way, we want to ensure that all the gaskets and O-rings came out with the injectors yet. We're going to take a service kit here and while we're replacing one injector, we're going to use a service kit to reseal all the other injectors while we've got them out right now. Right now that we've got our fuel rail up, it's very important to note that we need to depressurize the fuel system. Even if the vehicle's been sitting overnight for a while, it's a good idea to relieve the fuel pressure. Now it can be done different ways. You can electronically disable the fuel pump and crank or start the vehicle in order to relieve the pressure, uh, which we did in this case. We also backed off the return line to relieve any pressure. So there shouldn't be any pressure here, but there might be an initial burst of fuel yet. So uh, we're very carefully gonna pry here and, and get this fuel injector up out of the rail. And we will set it aside. We'll now take our new fuel injector and remove the protective cap. You can see this injector is designed carefully to match the original OE fit form and function. And we'll take our service kit that came with the injector, install the O-ring on the top, as well as some other seals. It's a good time to note though, if we've got one faulty injector on a high mileage vehicle such as this one here, you'll notice a lot of the contamination and other issues building up on these additional injectors. So we'll now take the new O-ring that came with the service kit, install it on the injector, and I'm going to take a little bit of an assembly lube or you might want to take some uh, clean motor oil. Just make sure that it's not silicone based and gently apply some lubricant to the, the O-rings here. It's going to make the installation process much easier. So we can now go ahead and gently install it into the rail. We're going to be careful not to cut that O-ring or we'll have a leak later on. So we've got our new seal installed here. We're going to go ahead and replace all these other injectors here and then we'll install the rail. We want to key it up, make sure that we don't have any leaks here and that the system holds pressure. Once that's passed the test, we now go ahead and uh, reinstall the intake manifold and clear the trouble codes if any had been set and start the vehicle and we should be ready to go.